Welcome to my video. This is Ecogen. I'll be going over the mechanics of Excavator 500 Boss and Hangar 0. Here's the attack pattern. Jab, it can stun. Second jab, knocks back. Back front. Adds more to the rotation, but it will phase. Phase happens on 90, 60, and 30%. When it phases, it jumps to the middle of the room. The boss will have a green or orange buff that looks like a tornado. So here's the icon. In this case, it's green. And it gains six stacks of defense. The boss will fire a drill that lands three meters from itself. The drill here can be in any of these circles. And then the person doing the drill mechanic needs to get behind it and block it as they will try to spin towards the wall. Two people will go furthest and each of them will stand on the same color buff, or sorry, same color pads matching the boss's buff. Since the boss has green, we're standing on the green pads. And you can tell based on the mini map. So here's green, over here is orange, the combination and the orientation of them will be RNG. It will fire a missile at the furthest. Before the missile hits, you want to SS or dash out of it, and you want the missile to hit the pad. At the same time, right over here, the person who blocked the drill gets the buff to drive it. It's driven by simply attacking it and they will tell the group which pad they're driving it onto. And it can be driven onto any pad, doesn't matter which pad it is, as long as the pad is the opposite color to the boss. So in this case, it was driven onto an orange pad since the boss has green. And then you can see here the drill was moving along the pads in the direction of the lit up arrows. You can tell the direction based on the pad here. So if you look here, the drill is heading up and then it will go left because the left arrow is lit up. And take note of the shape. So the drill will become the shape when it touches enough pads of the opposite color to the boss's buff. Now the boss will throw a chain so this chain will be thrown at the furthest and you need to share with someone to create a tether between themselves. We had the furthest and the driver go to the pad that the drill was first pushed onto. And then during this time, you can see here, the boss will fire a purple AOE, actually multiple purple AOEs aimed at the tank. This Purple AoE will kill you in hard mode if it hits you. It cannot be iframed. And in easy mode, it just simply knocks you back. So it's very important that this purple AoE is aimed away from the people doing the tether or the chain, whatever you want to call it, and away from the drill. And then you can see here, notice how the people doing the tether, they're standing at the corners of the circle so roughly around like what, three, five meters-ish. And this will create a chain between themselves, a green chain. And they have it on a diagonal, like a 45 degree angle. So as soon as the drill hits this tether, it's going to bounce and then explode onto the boss. And that will remove three stacks of defense. If the tether is too far apart, it will break. So there's the explosion, and now you repeat. So it's going to fire a drill, two furthest, goes to the same color buff as the boss, so green again. Remember the drill needs to be blocked. Fires the missile, the drill gets pushed onto the pad opposite to the boss's color. There's the second missile, get ready for the chain, so two people share because the chain is thrown at furthest. Remember, you need two people to share this to create the tether. Now here comes the purple AOEs. This needs to be aimed away from the chain people and the drill. 
Otherwise, this is what will happen. The purple AoE hit the drill, so it's going to explode. So this is basically going to reset. Now, if this happens, it's okay if it happens once. If it happens twice, it's a wipe in hard mode. So check the buff. This time it is orange. Two furthest will now go to the orange pads. It drops the drill. Drill gets blocked. Drill is now onto a green pad. There's the second missile. Drill is going around the room. There's the chain. AoE will be aimed away from the chain people and the drill. See there, notice the positioning of the people doing the chain. So they're at the corners. And then the line is a 45 degree angle. This will bounce the drill towards the boss. And it's damaged by it. And then it ends the phase with a five hit AoE. And now it will repeat at 60%. So it will just do its regular attack rotation until then. So 60%. Watch the buff color. It is orange, so two furthest goes to orange. The drill gets pushed onto a green pad. There's the first missile at furthest. The second missile at furthest. Incoming chain at furthest needs to be shared. Purple AoE is aimed away from the chain and the drill. And there we go, it's bouncing into the boss. Now you do it again. So orange. There's the first missile. The drill is pushed onto a green pad. Second missile. Throw the chain. So notice their positioning here for the chain. They're on the first pad that the drill was pushed onto. That makes things a lot easier to remember. There's the purple AoEs, aim it away from the mechanics. It takes damage. Does it again, this time the buff is green. So furthest goes on the green pads, there's the first missile. Second missile at furthest. The drill is making its way around, there's the chain. They position themselves, create that diagonal line, bounces the thing into the boss, explodes. And then it ends the phase with a 5 hit room wide AoE, so you want to use Hong Moon Block or Sheep for that. Alright, so that's the mechanics of the Excavator boss 500 in Hangar Zero. The mechanics are exactly the same in hard mode. This boss is probably the most difficult out of this dungeon because of how much team coordination and timing is required. As usual, I will include the full attack rotation and mechanics down below. As always, my social links will be in the video description. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.